Bolanle Ogidon is the managing director and chief executive officer of Magdedict Homes Limited. In the month of March, uh, we decided, we never even knew that there was going to be COVID. Right from January, February, we decided to make sure that all our properties are online. Videos, pictures, we even started training realtors on how to go online. So for us, in the month of March and in the month of April, I don't know about other real estate companies, but for us, we had the highest sales, highest turnover. Why? Because we noticed that if people are going to buy, because we service both Nigerians and diaspora, if the diaspora are going to be buying, they are not here. They need to be able to view the videos, view the pictures, feel it, go to Google, check out whatever they want to do, you know, there's a way you can go online and I can visit a place physically. <laughs> I can visit on my system. So we, we call something prop tech. Prop tech means your ability to make your customer feel as if they are inside the house they want to buy. So we already worked on that. Even before. We never knew there was going to be COVID. So for me and for, for, for the company, we've been able to also train many people to understand how to sell, not just offline, but online and at the same time answering your customer. Remember, I said integrity. When it comes to real estate, if you are able to um, position yourself as a go-to and the person of integrity, people will surely buy from you. They wouldn't need to wait until when they need to physically visit that place. So we noticed that there were a lot of people trying to move away from unsecured locations to secured homes. So what we did during that time was Whatever pictures that were available, we were able to give them and at the end of the day, people were able to make a decision because of the relationship and because they know with our own watchword of integrity, we'll be able to service them. So that was what we're doing during COVID and even now, it's a lot easier because people have noticed that they can't go and invest in savings or in treasury bills. They only need to invest in real estate to be able to make a whole lot of capital appreciation and most especially because of what the deficit of homes that we have in Nigeria. So.